السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله We praise to be to Allah Azza wa Jal and in any to see the month of Ramadan and throughout as we are passing through the month of Ramadan we are soon to reach the uh, الأخير, the last third of the month of Ramadan the Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam is awwaluh al-rahma wa awsatu al-maghira wa akhiruh al-aytuq bin al-nar the first third of which is al-rahma the second third of which is maghira and the last third of which is al-aytuq or freedom from hellfire emancipation from hellfire and the fact that a person has emancipation from hellfire means he has the guarantee to for dukhul and entrance into Jannah And when a person enters into the, the fasih and the opening and the vastness of Jannah For the moment that he enters he will forget everything that has passed before him Every difficulty, every tribulation, every harm, every sadness Every anxiety, every point of depression All of this will point to insignificance because of the fact that he entered into the Rahmah of Allah Into Jannah and into Jannah insha'Allah ta'ala but the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam gave us certain moments and times and days in which the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam incited us to increase in ibadah the month of Ramadan being one and akhas al akhas within the month of Ramadan ashr al awakhir such that the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam when he said when he said said on Sayyidina Ubadi al Sabit al Rajbi alayhi salatu wasalam Rasul sallallahu alayhi salatu wasalam he said the Prophet said, فَخَرَجْتُ لِيَخْبِرَكُمْ بِلَيْتِ الْقَدْرِ فَخَرَجْتُ لِيَخْبِرَكُمْ بِلَيْتِ الْقَدْرِ فَتَلَاحَ فُلَان وَفُلَان فَرُفِعْتْ عَسَى أَنْ يَقُونَ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ The Rasul came out to the companions to inform them of Laytul Qadr to give them the information of Laytul Qadr خير من ألف شهر better than a thousand months as the ulama mentioned the ألف the word number ألف for the word ألف in the Arabic language is added a takthir which means it can be a thousand months it can be more than a thousand months Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills it to be so so Rasul Sallallahu came out to his companions to inform them give them the time the date when his qadr will take place and what did Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam find? فَتَالَاهَا فُلَان وَفُلَان The Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi found two people arguing with each other two people fighting with each other two people raising their voices two people acting in a way not becoming of a believer with another and when this took place Allah Azza wa Jal فَرُفِعَتْ The akhbar, the news of Layl Qadr was raised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And then the Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam mentioned that perhaps this is better for you perchance this is better for you that the actual the date, the actual day of Layl Qadr is not mentioned and the hadith thereafter continues فَالْتَمِسُوهَا فِي تَاسِعَةً وَسَابِعَةً وَالْخَامِسَةً Seek it in the 29th, seek it in the 27th, seek it in the 25th. But we know from before that later Qadr traverses, it passes through the last 10 days. So why is the Rasul saying the 9th or the 7th or the 5th? The ulama have mentioned in that particular year, the Rasul alayhi salatu was salam to inform his companions of which of those days it was, 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th or 29th. But when the Rasul came to inform them, when the Rasul came to inform them, he knew that it's within the last three days. That is the 9th, the 29th or the 27th or the 25th. Another hadith, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi mentioned another year, this is one year, another year, another year of Ramadan comes. The Rasul says to his companions, 
seek it in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And before the next Jum'ah comes, we will be in the last 10 days of Ramadan. We will be in the last 10 days of Ramadan, we will be seeking Layl Qadr. So the isti'dad, the preparation of Layl Qadr starts from now in the same way the preparation of Ramadan started in the month of Rajab. And the Rasul used to be the Allah back to Rajab, Sha'ab al-Lina Ramadan. Rest in Rajab, Sha'ab al-Lina Ramadan, the month of Ramadan. So the preparation for it starts from now. So we can get the barakat and the fatuhat and ruhmat of that, of that, of that moment, of that night. And the last 10 in particular, the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, the last 10 days, qali yastaqid ahlahu wa shadda idharuhu. The Rasul sallallahu was very specific that he woke up every single member of his family, whether they were, whether they were servants, whether they were family members, whether his daughters, whether his, where, where, his, uh, Adopted sons. So Rasulullah woke everybody up on that time. So it's a such a sh- moment of the of the extremity of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and Barakah that will descend upon the Ummah of the Rasul Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. But in spite of that, the Rasul Sallallahu made a dua against a person when a month of Ramadan comes. Rahim Alf, الذي أدرك الرمضان فَلَمْ يُغْفُرْ لَهُ With the nose of the person be rubbed in dust of the person of whom Ramadan comes and is not forgiven. And how is a person not given in the forgiven the month of Ramadan? Allah sets forth as many people from, the, from Jahannam in every day of Ramadan as has passed in the previous. From the hundred thousand he sets forth and every day increases from the previous. <coughs> How does a person not get entrance into, into Jannah in the month of Ramadan? So the Rasul, so the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned this. Yeah. He mentioned, إن الله تعالى نظر إليهم وعفى عنهم غفر لهم إلا أربعة. Allah on the day and night of the Qadr and on days of, of, of Ramadan, He looks at every single person, Nazratul Rahmah, then the view of an eye of Rahmah, and He forgives every single person. Forgives every single person. Illa Arba'ah, except four. Except four. And then the, then the companions they ask, Man ha'ula, Ya Rasulullah, they ask, Who are these four, O Rasulullah? And then the Rasul of him mentions Mudmil al Khamar, a person addicted to alcohol. Wa'aq walidayh, the person who is disobedient to his parents. Wa'qati al Rahim, the person who severs the, the, the relationship of, of, uh, of Sayyid al Rahim. Wa Mushahim, and the Mushahim, the person. Who goes around causing dissension and tribulation and trouble and and uh, and harm between people? These four will not have the rahma of Allah subhanahu wa taala in the day of Qadr. And Sirat al Rahim is such that the Rahim muallaq al Arsh al Rahman. Sirat al Rahim is connected to the Arsh of al Rahman subhanahu wa taala. فتقول and it says and it says. Wasala, wasala Allah man wasala ni, wa qata' Allah man qata' ni. And it said, it speaks in the Hadith of Sahih Muslim. It says and it speaks, O oh Allah, the person, the people who repair amongst each other, those people who come together. And repair what they have from their family links and from others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite them. <coughs> and those people who break that link, who sever that link, who keep away from family and from others, then may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sever them from His rahmah. So as you're coming within the month of Ramadan, as we are passing within the month of Ramadan, it still becomes necessary upon us to, to, to 
to repair that which is amongst and between us. If it's amongst family, then it's amongst family. If it's amongst parents, then it's amongst parents. If it's amongst companions and friends which you had, which for whichever reason you broke broken links with them, repair that link. The Rasul mentioned all of them. He mentioned the three ways a person breaks their links. The person who, who, who is disobedient for no reason, according to which the Sharia allows to their parents. And a person who has Rahim has broken the family in ties. And then the Mushahim. So these relationships, if they are not repaired before the night of Layl Qadr, if they are not repaired before the night of Layl Qadr, will not be those who will receive the Rahm of Allah subhanahu in the month of Ramadan and not in the khas al khas, not in the most specific time of this month, which is the month which is the Layl Qadr. So this is the time in which you turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and return back to him. And the Rasul, they have to mention Mudmin al-Khamr. The Mudmin al-Khamr. The person is addicted to alcohol. But the ulama mentioned, what is, why is this fourth one mentioned with the other three? Because when a person is addicted to alcohol, and as to any substance, any narcotic, any drug, all the relationships between him and, the, and everybody around him all suffer. It suffers with the parents, it suffers with those closest to him, it suffers with those furthest from him, it suffers from those who are friendships with him. Everything suffers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Rasul started mentioning that these four will not be forgiven. It means that we have to work and strive to repair these four before the time arises of the, of the late of Qadr and we are not able to fulfill the rights of, the, of, of these people. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he also mentioned that the 17th tomorrow will be the remembrance of the, of, the, of the battle of Badr. The 17th of Ramadan. And Allah azza wa jal, when he is asked by the companions, when the Rasul is asked by the companions about how, the, how they should distribute what they gained in the battle of Badr, how should they distribute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he asked the question, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't mention how it should be distributed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first mentions نعم, Allah mentions what? That is نعم, when Allah mentions that uh, the Rasul when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he mentions وَأَصْلِهُ ذَاتَ بَيْنِكُمْ and he repair that which is between you repair which is that which is between you so before even Allah's amr and command comes down to them to distribute what Allah has blessed them in the battle of other Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you that repair that which is amongst you, which is within you. So this is a time. This is a time in which you have to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this moment. We are doing ibadah, yes. We are reciting Quran, alhamdulillah. We are doing giving uh, sadaqah and zakah. Uh, alhamdulillah, we are coming to the masjid also. We are praying our salat and jama'ah, alhamdulillah. But we forget that all of this ibadah, in comparison to Isra'adat al-Bain is insignificant in comparison to this. This is why it's mentioned by Sayyidina Aisha uh, when, when she mentioned Allah akhbirukum bi afdali min min darajat al-siyam wa salah wa sadaqa She said from the from the Prophet Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam shall report you and tell you something about something which is better than siyam better than salah, better than sadaqah. And then all the people said, of course, O oh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they said, Issa that al bain. They said, repairing that which is amongst each other. And the ulama mentioned that al bain a few times. That al bain al khas, that al bain al aam. That al bain al khas is those which you have a nasab, those you have a, 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 a lineage with. From brothers and sisters, and how do we see, and how much do we hear, and how much reports do we receive, and differences do we receive that brother is not speaking to brother, or sister is not speaking to brother, well, and also sometimes it has been that a parent, that the sons are not speaking to their parents, or the most trivial of things. 
And if a person doesn't repair this before the Laylatul Qadr, he will not receive the Rahmah of Allah Subhanahu uh, Subhana Wa Ta'ala. So within this moment that we are passing through, this is a time for us now to do what? To pick up the phone, to speak to people, to repair that relationship with others. And as you mentioned, Akhas wa Aam, there's that which is a familiar relationship which you have nasab. And those are haqqu. These people have the most right of your good character. These are people are the most right to have your pleasant of your pleasant nature. These people are the most right to your, to your behavior with them. And then, after this, who? Aam. Situl Rahim al Aam, the ulama mentioned that al Bayn Aam. Keeping relations with those of the general. Who are those? The people within your masjid, the people in your locality, the people which you have friendship with. Those people which you have relationships with, your ikhwan fillah, your brothers and your uh, sisters in Islam. Those people you have to, have to keep relationships with. And this is why one of the Hassan Basri is all used to say, he used to say that a person who has many, um, many acquaintances, he has many, he has many rights placed upon him. Means that a person who knows more people has a greater circle of people that he knows. The greater circle of people which he interacts with, then upon him he has a greater responsibility because he has more people by which he has to fulfill the rights of these people. So in the month of Ramadan, we are yes to the ibadah, but also to reflect and to and to repair the base of Rahim. And Yom al a person will come. And he will have oppressed the person. Broken links with the person, lied about the person, taken and appropriated the wealth, stolen the wealth. He'll come in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the people who he has oppressed and the, and the person he has oppressed will come. And he will start to take his hasanat. All the hasanat the person has done within a month of Ramadan, he will start to take this. The, the wakeless nights he stayed awake in ibadah. The Quran he's recited. The salah he's prayed. The sadaqah and the zakat he's given. All of this will be thought to be taken. Then there will be no deeds left. Then the Muslim, then the oppression which the person done, from the person who seeks his redress is right. His wrong will be taken and be given to the person who has oppressed him. And this will continue. And this will continue. Then when all of this comes to an end, the person whose deeds have been taken, the person whose um, the person upon whom the person's bad deeds have been placed upon, he has nothing left now, he only has his bad deeds and the bad deeds of others. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to teach us something. The Rasul alayhi salatu may have mentions. Allah says he says to the person seeking his right, he says to him, raise your, raise your head. Raise your head and look towards the gates of Jannah. And this is what the, the ma'ashar of hisab they will be. He will raise and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show him the, the gates of Jannah. He will raise his hands and he will see with that which will bring him happiness and pleasure of what he sees that awaits him in Jannah, insha'Allah ta'ala. And then he will say, وَلِمَنْ هَذَا يَا رَبْ The first will say, and forth, who is this, Ya Rabb? Who is this, from, Ya Allah? فَقَالَ سُبْحَانَ وَتَالَ لِمَنْ أَعْطِيَ ثَمَنَهُ Whoever yani, gives and will be given its price. So the person look again for He look again at the gates of Jannah. He'll see inside the pleasures of Jannah and the gardens and the orchards and the trees of Jannah and the, and the fruits of Jannah, and the animals of Jannah, the rivers, the palaces, the mansions, the beasts of Jannah. He will see all of this. And then he will say, Who can pay for all of this, my Lord? Who can pay for all of this? 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to him. Anta ya abdi, you my slave, you can pay for this. So this person will be shocked. How can I pay for this? Looking at the at the at the naim of looking at the, uh, the, the, the virtue and the, and the blessings of Jannah. So the person will say to him, Bi ya by what can I pay for this? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Bi li akhik. By you forgiving your brother. By you forgiving your brother. So then the person will say, I have forgiven him, Ya Rabbi. Allah will say, Khudh bi yadihi fad Allah will say, take your brother by your hand and enter him into Jannah. And this is the ajr of those that forgive. And this is a month of maghfirah. Not only maghfirah between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but also of forgiveness between us and the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who have wronged us, those who have oppressed us, you don't want that Allah should forgive you so then we have to forgive we have to overlook and we have to be people of suffer as Allah as he mentioned the dua that Rasulullah mentioned that we should be example in his mouth Allahumma inni ghafibu al-afu fa'afu anna when who is afu afu is forgiveness after you have the ability to take the person to task after you have the ability to wrong to, to right your wrong so this is a month of afu not only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for us. So we can become people, inshallah ta'ala, that we have become mustahiq, we become those people, and we become those people who have the right, those people who have the right to ask for Allah subhanahu forgiveness. So Allah makes people of forgiveness. And we should know that the companions, they were the people of extreme forgiveness. And the, the, the way they used to, to conduct themselves of Rajkal was such that they were forgiving even to, the, even to animals. It's mentioned about Sayyidina Amr ibn Asr, the, the, the liberator of Misr, the great companion. It is mentioned when he entered into Misr, he established a pavilion, a tent, a large tent, by which he used to look at the affairs of how the, the liberation of Egypt is, is going at his hands. He didn't stay in a home. And this tent, as we know in Arabic, is called a, a grand tent, is called Fustat. A gathering tent that all the believers used to gather. And after many years, after he was in, in Misr, Sayyidina Amr ibn As wanted to return. Back to Hijaz, back to Makkah and Medina. As he was going to return, the full start, the, the grand the pavilion, the tent, was going to be taken down. As he was going to be taken down, he saw from a distance that Bahadur Tuyu, some birds, Jalat Ushubuhu Alayha, the Built the 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 the, the, the nests, the rush, the nests and the and the and the and the feeding. They have put it on top of the of the tent. So Amr ibn As, what he did, out of mercy for the animals, is the is the khali al fustat. He leave the fustat, leave it, and it stayed. And then people came, and they said, where did the companion of Rasul Sallam tread upon the ground that they were that they were upon? People came, and people started to build houses around it. <coughs> and to this day, that those houses thereafter became a village, and that village became a town, and that town became a hamlet, and the hamlet became a city. And to this day, we know that Fustat is one of the names of the cities of, of Misr. This came from the mercy of Sayyidina Amr ibn As, uh, for the animal and for animals. What should our mercy be for insan? What should our mercy be for the mu'mineen? What should our mercy be for those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed the kalima La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah in their hearts. So Allah give us tawfiq inshaAllah ta'ala to become people of rahmah and qatir rahim 
Sayyidina Ali ibn Hasan ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib from the Ali ibn Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, to sell, Ya Bunayya, La tu sahib qatil rahim, Fa inni wajadu li mal'una fil kitab Allah thalatha marrat. He said to his, he said to his son, Don't keep company of the person who breaks family ties. But I have found that this person has been cursed in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala three times. So this is the time which we can repair between ourselves and our families and the people around us. And the most important thing was take away that shaitan is still mawjood. Shaitan is still present. Uh, the more the shayateen have been taken, the greater the shayateen have been taken, the lesser shayateen are still present. So this is the time that we have to preserve our deeds. Because the shayateen will try to bring this tribulation and this dissension amongst people. Within the masjid, outside the masjid, in the car park, on the streets. Because the person is tired or they are or fatigued. But this is the time that we say, and the Sahih. And the Rasul Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, When Admin Ni Bana Bin Fakhi Bana Lahi and Bin Hul Jannah. Whoever guarantees guarantees for me two things. What is between his legs and what is between his mouth, I guarantee him for him Jannah. And both these things we do in the month of Ramadan. So if inshallah, if Allah subhanahu gives us the feet to continue, inshallah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes those who ask for forgiveness from our people in the present month of Ramadan. I'll have to shamir and continue that know that the best of Ramadan is yet to come, which is the last 10 days. And we roll up our sleeves, inshallah ta'ala, the Rasul Sassam used to do. Uh, the Izara, who used to tie his rowing clock, which is a similitude that he used to be very serious in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in that, the, those nights, there is a night between 83 years minimum. Now, which is a, a, which is a minimum, it can be more than this, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, so that we must still okay to do this, and we, we do this inshallah ta'ala.